Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to hack into a Windows 10 computer through a bootable USB. Now, of course, the first thing that you're going to need is a bootable USB or a USB flash drive. Um, or you can have a USB compatible flash drive. So, you, it could be a thumb drive or it could be a memory card with an adapter. For example, I have a um, micro SD card with an adapter that turns it into a USB drive um, and you're going to need a minimum of two gigs of space in order to do this so um, make sure you have that on hand before you attempt this okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and you're going to Google Hyrens boot CD click enter then you're going to click download here you're going to go over and you can scroll all the way down until you see this here hbcd underscore pe underscore time 64 dot iso and you're gonna click on that that's gonna begin the download down here I already have it so I'm gonna cancel um, it's gonna begin the download there and that's gonna take a while and so while that's downloading we can open a new tab and we can google Hirons boot CD bootable ISO uh, I misspelled it there so I'm gonna go there and fix that sorry um, and then click USB booting here and then you're gonna scroll down until you find the ISO to USB.exe you're gonna click on this it's gonna download it to com your computer it's gonna be faster because it's such a small file click on it and it's going to open when it's done it's going to open up when it's done it's going to ask you for your administrative password you just enter that in there um, and it's going to open up here and so here you're going to for the um, new drive label you can put whatever you want it doesn't really matter but for the ISO file you're going to do paste the file path of the um, the HBCD Type 64 ISO that you did down here. If you don't know how to do that, you would click the arrow right here and click Show in Folder, and then at the top it would show your file path, um, which you could paste into here. Mine just do, does it into Downloads, so it's Users Play Downloads um, Time 64 ISO. Um, and then for the USB device, this is when you would plug in your USB drive. Um, and make sure there's nothing on the drive because this will format your drive making it um, erasing all data on it so now we click this reload button it should pop right in and then we click process and that's gonna flash the um, the drive with the um, Hirons boot CD and I've already done it so I am good to go and um, the next thing you would do is you would unplug your USB device um, and take it to whatever computer you're doing it. I'm doing it on this computer, so um, so I would plug it into the computer that you're hacking into, and then power the computer completely off. I'm gonna power it back on, and I'm gonna press F12 over and over, because that does the boot options down here. Um, and it's going to select boot options and now we're going to switch it from hard drive to mass storage device which is what um, the computer labeled my USB yours might be labeled something different it's just going to be different from the hard drive and it's going to be um, it's going to be based on what your USB drive is um, and you're going to click enter to boot through that and that's going to begin the boot through Hiron's boot CD all right, so once that boots up and is finished doing its thing, you will have successfully booted into their computer through Hirons Boot CD, but you won't have access to any of their files or anything. So um, the next thing you do is go down here and click this or press the Windows key, and we're going to search for password, and we're going to click NT Password Edit right here. I'll drag this over here so you can see. Um, and then we're going to click Open. Then we're going to select the account we want to hack into. Now mine is going to be admin. Yours is probably going to have a different name depending on what system you're going to do. But I'm going to click admin and then I'm going to click change password. And then you choose a new password like ABC. 
and then you go to the next one, A, B, C, and then OK, and then you click Save, Ain't, Save Changes, and then Exit. And now you've done everything you need to to hack into their computer. And so now you can power off the computer again, all the way. You can remove your flash drive, um, and you power it back on again. This time it should boot through the hard drive, not through your flash drive. So it should boot back up as their computer. Um, and once that's booted up, it will be on their computer again. And you can open it up and go down to the account that you changed the password on. Mine was admin. Click into the password thing. Enter in your password that you changed. It is successfully booted up into their machine and you can do whatever you want. You can access their files, you can go in their Chrome, you can um, you can do basically anything that you want to. You're now um, full owner of this account. They can't get in anymore because you changed the password. And you can go into their files, you can access all their sensitive information. Please don't do anything illegal with this. Um, but that is one way to hack into a secure Windows account if you have physical access to their um, to their PC or laptop or wh whatever it may be and you're able to plug in a USB um, and boot up through it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.